Welcome to another episode of the Miami Real Estate Show. Today I have not only a dear friend, but also a true, true professional of social media marketing. Uh, you've helped me a lot in the past, Gal Ilderman. Gal, hi, nice to meet you. Hey man, hi. What do you mean, nice to meet you, sorry, man? Sorry, 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 <laughs> no, sorry. It's okay, it's okay. All right, so <laughs> I want to get started. You've helped me a lot with Instagram. Now I know you're doing a lot of uh, LinkedIn. Over mm -hmm. the years, you've become an expert. I refer you a lot of real estate agents yes. that work with you. Tell me about first Instagram. What, what is it? What do you do for the people that don't know you yet? What, are, what do you do that is so valuable? So what we help agents, mm -hmm. um, we understand that the number one challenge that agents have, well, they actually have two challenges. Mm -hmm. One agents it, only or entrepreneurs as well? Well, we work with all businesses. Right, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, so we work with all businesses, but an agent is a business owner. So let's focus right. on agents because this right. show is about agents. Okay. So I think that one of the biggest challenge for businesses and agents to close deals is the follow-up. Mm -hmm. Meaning that yeah. sometimes we will, we will meet a person and that person will want to do business with us, but sometimes it doesn't happen right now. So where, where people fall is with the follow-up. So like, like we say, you know, the breakdown happens. The problem, agents have two problems, lead generation, and the second one is lead conversion, mm -hmm. right? But the breakdown happens on the follow-up, so. Exactly, so social media is a, is a great platform to follow up with your clients and also increase the, the, the size of your network. Mm -hmm. Okay, every agent, in order to be successful, it needs one simple thing. They need a larger and larger network of people that can right. afford to buy or sell real estate. Right. The larger the network you have, the better the chances of you closing a deal. If I'm not mistaken, you once told me that, um, I think it's once every seven years that, that a person will sell or buy real estate. Yep. So you need to have a large network of people. So first of all, how do you do it? Because when I was an agent, you, you used to train me um, many years ago, I felt like you just don't have enough time. And it's also very expensive. Like I used to have yeah. dinners with clients. So between studying the, um, all the market and having um, all the dinners with clients, there is not enough time. So social media, and especially Instagram, and also LinkedIn, it's a great tool to follow up with your, with, with your clients in a very natural way without, without bothering them. You can send them happy birthday, you can like their photos, so you're always on their mind without needing to call every, once a month, hey, let's do a deal, because you don't want to bother them, but, right, you, but, right. you, but, you, but you do want them not to forget about you Engagement. when they're ready. Engagement right. is the, key. That's and, the and, key. And 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 how do you get to engage with those clients? Okay, so engaging with clients, meaning that um, you're going to interact with them mm -hmm. in a social way. Mm -hmm. You can like their photos, you can comment on their post, you can follow their journey and see what they're doing, and only then mm -hmm. you can come up with an offer. I think okay. one of the biggest mistakes that agents um, trying to um, trying to close a deal right away without actually engaging with the client. Right. So pitching, pitching, pitching. Pitching. All the time. Yeah, yeah. Let's do a deal. Let's do a deal. And many times the clients are not ready. Right. So when you're supporting them. Okay, if, if they see, if you send them a happy birthday, it's a very personal thing, right? Right. So that's a, that, 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 that's a simple way to- How, how do you guys client. do that on behalf of the agent? So what we do, mm -hmm. agents can do it themselves. Right, okay. Um, but we basically take- Fair enough, okay. Yeah, so an agent can sit and, and do like 30 days every morning and just engage with, with, uh, with potential clients. So we choose who you want to engage with by locations or um, and, and any kinds of targets, and we do it on their behalf. So okay. agents can step away from that um, f from that issue and let okay. us do all, all the rest for them. Okay, so it's all about the engagement, right? It's all about the engagement. So talking about the agents, and, and, and you've provided that service, mm -hmm. the engagement service, yes. to, to a lot of agents. I do. What, what do you think is, is the secret to a successful, to using social media in, for real estate agents. Okay, it's a very simple okay, formula. Okay, okay, what is it? What's a formula? What's the, the formula? Secret? The formula, it's very simple. Online success mm -hmm. equals content plus engagement. Okay, content plus engagement. That's okay. the formula, it's as simple as that. Okay. If you do only one of them, it's not gonna work. If okay. you have only content, for example, if you're an agent and you're gonna post amazing homes, but nobody see the homes, it's not gonna help you. Mm -hmm. Vice versa, if you have a lot of traffic, but, nobody see, but, but, but your content is not interesting, people also won't do business with you. So it's a combination of both. And the beautiful part about agents is that agents have the best content in the world for free. Why? For free. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, I work with. I so know the answer because we've worked together. But so I, I, I work, with, I work with so many industries. I work with uh, hotels. I work with um, with restaurants. The challenge of creating good content, first of all, it's expensive, and it's it's time consuming, and it's ongoing process. And agents have it for free. And pay, pay attention to this because I, I completely agree with you. It's the content that is generated through the industry, through other agents, through developers, high definition pictures, mm -hmm. beautiful ocean views, yeah. amazing uh, uh, yeah. designs, furniture, the kitchens, The most beautiful pools. homes in the world. The most beautiful right. homes in the world. You, you can just post them and there's no need to lie about it. So if you're just uh, starting and you don't have listings, mm -hmm. there's no need to lie. You don't, you, don't, you don't need to post a home and say it's my listing, but you are allowed to ask your broker or, or, or a top producer if you can if you can post their listing right. they will all say yes because right. you're helping each of other of course and then you, and then you can just post here's a house for 10 million dollars five bedrooms please contact me for more information so, so so there is no reason not to be posting because the content is really once available. a day right. every morning every agent have to do it once a day. So once a day. Once but a day. But you also talk about half an hour. What do you do in that half an hour on social media? And what do okay. you, you recommend so, it early in the morning, so in the afternoon, at night? I want to call it the 30 minute or the, the 30 minute rule. Okay. So let's take and, and let's break it into three parts. Mm -hmm. The first 10 minutes, post. Okay. Cho choose a nice home f from your area mm -hmm. and post it. Th that would take you five to ten minutes. Okay? okay, you can do a screenshot. You can ask for the. So that's the content. So we can do the, the engagement. Right. That, that's, that's the, the content. That's the first ten minutes. Right. Okay. The next ten minutes, you can choose um, one platform and start engaging. Me personally, I like LinkedIn and I like Instagram. And the reason I like LinkedIn and Instagram versus Facebook. I mean, Facebook is great, but it's too wide. It's too big. Mm -hmm. As agents. We are looking for people that can afford to buy or sell real estate. And those kind of people are usually on LinkedIn, on, on Instagram. And Instagram, you have the lifestyle, the spenders, mm -hmm. the jet setters, the, the people that want to show off how good their life is. And on LinkedIn, you have the CEOs, the, the professionals, CFOs, the professionals, the ones that are more low key and don't want to show their life. But you can find people, um, wealthy people on both of those um, um, both of those platforms. Okay. Sorry. So let's start with uh, Instagram. Mm -hmm. You can, for example, if you live in Miami, mm -hmm. you can choose um, an expensive restaurant in Miami or an expensive neighborhood in uh, in Miami. Do a search on on Instagram. Okay. And you will get a list of thousands of people that spend time in that in those locations. You can start yeah. engaging with them right away. Send okay. them likes. Send them comments. Start mm -hmm. following them. And this is ten minutes. So mm -hmm. the way I do it, and what I recommend is. Send 20 likes, send 20 comments, send uh, 20 DMs, which is a direct message. Okay. Okay. Every day, if you, if you multiply it by, so 20, 20 likes, 20 comments, and 20 DMs. Yeah. So okay. you wake up in the morning. Let's just say you choose uh, uh, one location in okay. Miami that you think that people want to go to. Choose 20 people, send them 20 likes, send them 20 comments on 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 the, on the post to the same people. Yeah, or, to the, or 20, choose, pe 20 people 20 for the likes, people. 20 people for choose, the comment, 20 people 20 for the Choose 20 different end. people that you think uh -huh. that they might be uh, a good client for you. Okay. And support them. Okay. They will all like the fact that you're supporting them. Right, right. Nobody's going to say this damn right. person just like my photo, yeah? yeah? Right, right, right. So 20 likes, 20 comments, 20 DMs. If you do it 20 times a month, mm -hmm. let's just say you have 20 working days a month, mm -hmm. that's 400 messages a month. Maybe five people will reply. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay. Okay. And then you start engaging with them. And then once they reply, you can send them an offer. Right. Always send them an offer with a value. Never, never try to, to attack right away. So for example, if one client answers, you can say, Hey, Mr. Client, um, thank you for following me back. Can I offer you a free report about okay. your neighborhood? And then you send them a free report on what's going on in this neighborhood. Yeah. Okay. Can I show you the last uh, 10 sales in, in, in your building? So you're offering, you're offering them value. Okay. Got it. And it's a numbers game. If the, the more you do it, the better the, better the chances you have, okay. okay? And here's the beautiful part about, about social media, okay? Those people are getting hundreds of emails every day. They're getting hundreds of, cons of, of phone calls. Nobody answers. Do you answer your phone call if, if, if uh, somebody calling you? Me? No, never. never. My I phone don't is answer, always forward to my office. So I don't answer emails that I don't recognize, ever. and I don't answer uh, uh, if somebody's calling me. Right. I do check my DMs okay. because people are getting very few DMs. And it's easy. You know, it's easier. It's not invasive. It's 10 minutes. Yeah, I can check it. If, if I want to pay attention to you, I do. If, I, if not, but at least I saw your name. It's 10 minutes. So let's go back. So, so let's go 10 yeah. minutes. All 10 right. Minutes it's for, for posting. For posting. 10 yeah. minutes for engagement. For and the other 10 on, minutes? On, on Instagram. On, yeah. And the other 10 minutes? Ten, it, do the same thing on LinkedIn. 
Okay. But I have 20 minutes now, so 10 minutes posting. 10 minutes posting, 10 minutes, 10 minutes on Instagram, and huh? 10 minutes on LinkedIn. Okay. That's 30 minutes a day, okay. and that's going to generate your leads right away. Okay. That's going to generate your leads right away because I'm doing it for myself, so okay. I know it's very easy. It's, it's, not, it's not that difficult. For example, let's talk about LinkedIn. Okay. If I'm in Miami, you can do a search. Mm -hmm. CEOs in Miami, right. CFOs in Miami, yep. Yep. Um, wealth management. Those are people that can get you business. Email, uh -huh. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So for example, let's talk about wealth manager, okay? If you do a search on, on, on LinkedIn and I did it in Miami, I think you have like seventy thousand people that manage that manage people's money in Miami. You can send them a message. Seventy thousand. Yes. You can send them a message, hey Mr. Um, hey Mr. David, for example. Right. Uh -huh. uh, I know that I know that you manage funds of other people. If any of them needs uh, uh, um, if any of them needs to buy or sell a house Please keep me in mind. Okay. Here's a free report about about what's going on in the market. Given the value you mentioned, All, right. always give them a right. value. Never, yeah. never try to sell. Nobody yeah. likes to be sold. Yep, exactly. Right. So remember we talked about that when yeah. we were in coaching. Remember that? Yeah. yeah. So you need to sell them without them knowing that you're selling right. them. But the point is, it's a numbers game. That's so what we talk in, in in coaching for for many years. Is nobody wants to be sold. Nobody wants but to sell. But everybody loves to buy. Exactly. Right? Everybody wants to. So buy. So you need to create an environment where people want to buy with you. Mm -hmm. And the, the, the way to do that is through content, mm -hmm. through engagement, and mm -hmm. always offer value. Yes, Got and it? I want to talk about one thing about content, sure. which is really important, but which I see that's a big mistake that many agents mm -hmm. do. They sh some agents show too much of their, of their, li of their personal life, mm -hmm. and some, some agents show too, too many of their homes. So, so what's the right balance? It's, it, I call it the 80-20 rule. So 80% okay. mm -hmm. of what you're selling, and 20% of who's selling. The clients want to see who's selling. The clients want to get to know you. So every 10 photos, you can show two photos of yourself. Okay? okay. And be yourself. Don't try to invent. Don't try to reinvent yourself. If you like to play tennis, show a photo of you playing tennis. Maybe maybe a client also likes to be, uh, to play tennis, and then immediately there, there is um, a rapport, right? So show beautiful homes. Start to position yourself as a professional in that industry. All right. Yeah. And show and, and show who you are. So I like that. So it's the eighty twenty rule. We can call it the eighty twenty the eighty twenty what and who, right? Eighty yeah. percent the what what are you what you're selling? What are you selling? Eighty right? percent of who's and, selling? Uh, who's selling it? Yeah, okay, that's, cool. That, that's a good number. I love. Okay, I love that. So now number. you also call it there is there is a, also a social media algorithm. The algorithm. Can, can you expand a little bit on that? Yes. What do you mean by the social yes. media algorithm? So the beautiful part about social media is that all of us are on the same boat. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? If you think about, if, if we go back in time and a, small and, and a small business want to advertise itself on TV, you cannot afford it. Right. So I remember as a child, I used to watch all those, um, all those big companies advertising on, on, a, on a football game and I said, wow, I mean, I will never have the budget. On social media, all of us are on the same boat. All right. of us use the same algorithm. All of us have the same rules. And these are the rules on Instagram. Okay. Yeah? We can do about 90 likes an hour, which is about 2,000 likes a day. So you can send about 90 likes to 90 different people every hour. You can do that. Really? Okay. Yeah. 24 hours? You, you, no, about 20 hours. But you can, you can get the attention of, of about 2,000 people a day. Wow. In a nice way. Okay. You can send about 400 comments. You can follow an hour, 400 comments a day. A day. It, okay. It's about 20. It's about 20 comments an hour. Let's talk about 18 hours a day. Let's say, let's say that. Okay. If if we're sleeping six, uh, about six hours, so and you can follow about 500 people and we can view about 500 stories total. It's about 3,500 interactions a day times 30 days. You can engage with 100,000 people a month if you wanted to. If you if you if you have the time for it. You can get the I attention mm -hmm. of 100,000 people a month. And the beautiful part, so it doesn't matter if your name is, um, if you're an agent or if you are BMW or Fortune 500 company, Actually, all uh -huh. of us have the same rules. So whenever somebody see a big Instagram account and they think how they do it, mm -hmm. that's exactly how they do it. Okay. It's the only way, you know, I think one of the, of, the, of, the, of the biggest mistakes that people see a big Instagram account and they think that person is more popular than me or that person, um, is Actually, when, when you do the seminars with me, you show the top, top, top celebrities that have 15, 20, 50 million followers. And They've you also for show years. a huge percentage that are bot followers, right? Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes. So, yes, some people pay for followers, which is fine. Mm -hmm. You can pay for followers uh, if you pay Instagram. Right. So, that's the, so there's paid ads, mm -hmm. and there are other ways to do it. 
Um, but in general, the, the point is that you have to engage. Of course. And that's, yeah, yeah, no, I no, think no, that's, that's the secret. Right, right. I think that's the most important part. The here follow because it's, a, it's, a, it's a type of follow-up. Yeah. Because, because many clients come to me and ask, how do I get more followers? How do I get likes? I mean, they get so frustrated from the fact that um, they keep posting content and mm -hmm. nothing is happening. Mm -hmm. And I ask them, how many actions do you give to other people every day? And they say, zero. So if you're giving zero, why would you get 1,000 back? Uh, that's right. the secret. Every company you see with, with a large uh, amount of traffic, mm -hmm. they have a team that is engaging on their behalf 24-7 for years. That's the only way to grow. The only way. And okay. the best way. All right. The best organic right. way. Okay, cool. So DM, what do you think DM is? So what, what's more important? DM the, the like? Future. DM, DM yeah. is the future, but... Uh, DM is the future. DM is the future, okay. well, it's actually the present already, mm -hmm. but it's also the future because again, like, like, like we said, people are bombarded with emails and phone calls. Those people that, that you're trying to get their attention, they're getting maybe a few DMs a day. So if you send a DM to a person, they're gonna read it. They're gonna read it. I'm not sure they're gonna reply, but they're gonna read it. So make sure it's a good one, keep it short and give value. So DM is the, you say is the, not only the future, it's, it's already the present. The present. Of course, I right. mean, I mean, you have companies that, I mean, okay. my company, we, we live on DMs. I mean, we, I mean, we, we send DMs all day long. Okay. Some people reply, some people don't, but still, I mean, it, people see it. Right. And you can see if somebody see it. Okay. Now, the next point that I wanna, that, that I wanna talk to you about is, in general, man, owners. Uh, I, I talk about social media, it's not about posting, it's about pain. Right, pain. Uh, they mean in my case, I, I, uh, in order for I, I use a lot of Facebook, and it work gives me a lot of leads, mm -hmm. first names, last names, email, and phone numbers. Mm -hmm. Right, I need to pay to get the lead. It's clear and fast to me. It happens overnight. Mm -hmm. Right, uh, and I see a lot of people on social media just posting and posting and posting without the engagement. Yep. All right, and you see 36, 32 likes, and it's usually the same people, their friends, family. And, uh, and you know, and, and real estate agents in their case that are mm -hmm. that are the same, that are not going to buy from them, mm -hmm. all right? Uh, so clear, clearly, the content is key. That the the, the, the engagement, engagement with the person. There are two main reasons. I, mm -hmm. I understand what, what what you want to ask. There are two main reasons mm -hmm. that people need engagement because some people ask me, why do I have to engage? Mm -hmm. There are two reasons. First of all, is the algorithm. Okay, Instagram, all 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 those com all, all those companies. Mm -hmm. f for example, Instagram, they have one billion users. 100 million photos are being uploaded every day. Jesus Only 15% are gonna mm -hmm. be viral. So if you are the owner of Instagram, for example, and you, and you see a post of a person and that post got only five likes mm -hmm. and then another post right. got 1,000 likes, which one are you gonna push? Right. So the main reason that, that you need engagement is for, the, is, for, um, the, is for the social platforms to make you viral. Okay. Okay. If they see a busy photo, they think that photo is gonna keep my clients longer time on my platform, mm -hmm. I, I want to make him viral. Right. Does it make sense? Yeah. The second thing is perception. Okay. And we will right. talk about, yeah. do you remember about, about, the, uh, about the example of the, of the two restaurants, the busy one and, yep. and uh, the empty please one? Please give that one, because I love that one. Okay, so let's just say we live in New York City, mm -hmm. and both of us just opened a business on Fifth Avenue uh, in New York City, and we both, you're a chef and I'm a chef, and we both sell meat. Mm -hmm. You're a much better chef than I am. Your restaurant is better than mine. Everything about your product is 100% better than mine. Mm -hmm. And we are right across of, of, of each other. Now, if, I, if, your, if your restaurant is, is empty, nobody is, is, is going to walk in. Right. So maybe you have a better product than mine, but if my, if my business is full, okay, if I'm going to make sure that I have enough people in my business, the people that walk in the, in the street, they're going to walk in, into my business. So the same thing... It's perception. Yeah. It's perception. The, the same thing about Instagram and social media. If a client is going to see, if you're an agent, 17 and a, likes and, uh, and a client is going to see your page and he doesn't have enough traffic, you look less, uh, right. you don't look trustworthy. Mm -hmm. And another agent, they, they see traffic, they see comments, they might go with them just because they look more trustworthy. Okay. So it's very important for your business to look busy because mm -hmm. that's going to bring more traffic in. Okay. How do, how do I achieve that? Engagement. Okay. You start sending. The, the first step, the 30 minute rule giving. every day. The 30 minute rule, that's the first step. Okay. And if you like it, you can do it more and more and more and more, or you can hire somebody, but okay. it doesn't matter. 30 minutes a day, you're gonna see results within 24 hours. So if you have agents that are watching this right now and they don't know how to start, how to get leads. So that's if, the beginning. If, if, I mean, look, Three things, many likes, agents, comment, DM. Okay. Many agents don't, don't have the funds or, or the budget to spend on marketing, and, and I get it. Mm -hmm. So this is a free way for them to spend 30 minutes a day and try to get clients. 
Try, start engaging with them, okay? Let them get to know you. And once they're following you, send them a DM. Okay. Hey, Mr. Client, here's an offer. Whatever you want to offer them. Okay. Okay. Other than, con- other than not engaging, not posting valuable content, relevant content, and not liking somebody else's post, because you know, if, if, if you don't give, you won't, you won't receive from these mm-hmm. people. What would you think is a huge mistake business owners are making in social media? Well, I think the number one mistake that business owners make mm-hmm. on social media is that they're spending money on marketing before they position themselves as, as professionals. Okay. 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 It's Can you elaborate number, on that? Uh-huh. Yeah, it's a number one mistake. So if you spend money on marketing and you don't have the right funnel, so people, okay, so marketing is about getting somebody's attention. Mm-hmm. But if you're going to try to get somebody's attention and they're going to come and check who you are and you're not ready, mm-hmm. you're bending money. So people are going to come all the way to, all, all the way to you and then they're going to turn around. So that's one of the biggest mistakes, okay? So people try to get somebody's attention and they're not ready. So mm-hmm. it's a sense of, of you doing a showing. Mm-hmm. And if you, don't know, if you don't know the area, it's not going to work because right. the client's going to ask you questions. If you don't know what's the best school in the area, if, you don't know all, if, if, if you're not ready to answer the questions, if, you're not going to close the deal. Okay. So the same thing on, on, on marketing. You have to have the right infrastructure before you start asking for somebody's attention to come and check who you are. What would you be the minimum infrastructure for a real estate agent before they get started? So a website, but mm-hmm. again, some agents don't have an, mm-hmm. a, a website costs a lot of money. So not really. We offer one octopus agent. You can go to octopusagent.com and it's a year, six ninety nine with the content, the automation. Then the even web, better. Then, I mean, then, then even better. So a website, a website is a must. Right. I mean, that's your, that's your, that's your business card. Right. And social media presence, they're going to Google you. They're going right. to check who you are. So the first thing that, that, that is going to jump is your social media pages. Mm-hmm. So imagine that if you just started uh, and you don't have any listings and somebody's going to check who you are and they're going to see a page with hundreds of beautiful homes and lots of traffic, they're going to trust you. Right. Okay. So why in your case you, cho- you chose Instagram and LinkedIn instead of Facebook? It's, it's, it's very simple. Mm-hmm. Um, we found out from, from our experience that mm-hmm. people, with, um, people with buying power, people mm-hmm. that, that, that like to buy and sell real estate, mm-hmm. are on those platforms. Okay. There are a lot of people on Facebook. I advertise on Facebook mm-hmm. myself. The quality of leads that I'm getting from Facebook okay. is not, it's as, not, good. The same? It's not as good okay. as, as okay. LinkedIn and, uh, and, and Instagram. On okay. LinkedIn, you have professionals. Nobody's there to waste your time. It's, it's, it's less crowded too. It's less crowded. Yep. Um, so I love LinkedIn. Okay. And it's, it's just a different kind of a person. Here, okay. here you have, again, it's the suits, it's the professionals, and then here you have like the, the spenders and the lifestyle. So it's, it's all good. I mean, it's, I mean both of them, is, it's good. Talking about in, uh, LinkedIn, because that's something that most people are not doing. So other than, yes, of course, there are professionals in LinkedIn, but how user-friendly, because I, I don't know much about uh, LinkedIn. I, mm-hmm. I can say I'm a true expert on lead generation on Facebook. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm, and that that's that's core mm-hmm. in our business and yeah. for our agents. Mm-hmm. Core and it's key and it works tremendously. Try LinkedIn. You're gonna love right? it. And th- yeah, and that that's that, that's the reason I'm asking you. I've I've never done uh, LinkedIn in the past, right? Mm-hmm. I've done Instagram and mm-hmm. paid that. It works mm-hmm. well for us. A lot of presence, a lot of authority. We have a lot of content. We provide our agents mm-hmm. uh, with a lot of content. Uh, but I, and I've seen other people having a great, a great success with both Facebook and Instagram, but I haven't seen mm-hmm. many agents. And it's not because the platform doesn't work; it's that they don't know. They don't know. They don't the, know the, 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 how the process works on LinkedIn. So, what would be your advice for somebody that wants to take advantage of LinkedIn, which is not that crowded, by the way? Well, first of all, if they have. Um, um, a budget to, to, to put on, on paid ads, I would mm-hmm. definitely do on What would on be LinkedIn. a good budget to get start to get started? Uh, I want to say a few hundred bucks a month. Okay, a few hundred bucks a month. Yeah, but f- five hundred. Yeah, okay, five hundred bucks a okay. month. I would if I, if I have a listing, I would definitely show it on on LinkedIn before I show it on uh, Facebook. Okay, what about traffic? Because in my case, and we usually judge the value of a platform mm-hmm. or a tool according to how much we use it, mm-hmm. right? People say, oh, well, I don't, I don't have Facebook, so Facebook doesn't work. Uh, no, you don't, it doesn't work for you because you don't use it. It mm-hmm. doesn't mean it doesn't work. So mm-hmm. in my case, I don't use LinkedIn, but I can say LinkedIn doesn't work. No, 
I don't use it that much. So in terms of traffic, because mm -hmm. we that's that's proven the traffic on Facebook and Instagram is huge. But I don't know the traffic and LinkedIn. So first so. of all, you have about one billion users on uh, cool. LinkedIn. Cool, but is it? But, but the traffic but, getting but, huh? Yeah, but right. uh, only three hundred thousand are active. Uh, right. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. which is still a lot. Okay. Which is yeah. still enough. Yeah. But again, I mean, it all depends on on, on what you're looking for. I rather to have a hundred people that, that can afford to buy my product than a thousand people that cannot afford my product, which okay. happens to me a lot. Okay. I get phone calls. Uh, and we need to and we need to handle those people and we need mm -hmm. to uh, uh, try to close a deal with them and it's very difficult. They're mm -hmm. on, a, on, on a small budget mm -hmm. and it's a much tougher decision for them whether or not to buy our services. So I like to target people that if they like my product, it's a fast decision for them. They say yes, they like it, they say yes. So, so your argument, argument for link LinkedIn would be that yes, there is the traffic is, is lower, however, the quality of the traffic is much yes. higher. Yes, well, first of all, to be, to be on LinkedIn costs money. If mm -hmm. you, if, so that's, I mean, Facebook is free, Instagram mm -hmm. is free. LinkedIn is also free, but most people that use LinkedIn mm -hmm. pay about $70 a month. So it's already, it's already raising the, 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 the quality of people that right. are gonna see your, it's a your, filter. your, your, your ad. It's a filter. Right. It's a small filter, but it's a very important filter. You know, mm -hmm. it, it's the same as, as you go to see like a, a show and it's money, it's free. So, it's a good filter to have. Yeah, if you're paying seventy dollars a month, and you're all professionals, the and it's all professionals. Okay. Everybody on LinkedIn are professionals. They have a job. Mm -hmm. It's important. I mean, right. I mean, they they make salaries. You know. Right. Yep. Yep. Got it. All right. So, any specific strategy for LinkedIn that you recommend? For LinkedIn, I would probably do the same thing. I would choose location. Okay. And if I'm a real estate agent, I would probably uh, I would probably engage with two different kinds of people. So first is the end user. I would try to find local people that can actually afford my services. Mm -hmm. And then I would also engage with connectors. Those are people that can bring the business. Okay. So these are two different kinds of engagements. One is, for example, CFOs. Just do a search, mm -hmm. CFOs or CEOs in your area. You will find the managers of the biggest companies in your area, in, in, in Miami. Like that, okay. okay. Engage with them. Also approach all the connectors, uh, mortgage brokers. Right. Um, mortgage brokers can give you business. So if you can contact 100 mortgage brokers, and ask them to send you deals, you basically have 100 employees that work for you for free. Right. They're gonna send you deals. That's Same thing, okay. Okay? So, okay? So so, you, so you're being a team without, without, without actually um, paying the salaries. So, I mean, I used to, I, I, I remember when, when I was an agent, I got, and, and you taught me that, connectors are key to they're get leads. Key. They're, they're key, key. You, cannot, you cannot work alone. In any business, you cannot work alone, it's very they hard. Do, listen, connectors for the people are watching, and we generate a lot of leads through different platforms, many different platforms. Uh, and, they, and those platforms work, uh, but working a lead that you just, and people say, well, that's a cold lead. No, 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 no. It's not a cold lead. You are the person who's cold. Mm -hmm. Because would you trust somebody on the phone, mm -hmm. right, and provide your personal information, how much you have to, to put down, how, what your you know, financial situation, the type of property you want to buy, you know, share that information with an agent that you don't know. So it's not no. that the lead is called, it's that you are called. Yes. Right? Yes. So connectors are key because the, the client comes to refer to you, mm -hmm. filter financially to you. They trust that person, it's like 70% close exactly. compared to a, when you are called to somebody. Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. So on LinkedIn, you have many professionals okay. that can send you business. So what would be the strategy? Okay, I got it. So we have the people. So. It, on Instagram, you said 30, uh, you know, this, it's you know, 10 post. minutes, 10 okay. minutes. 10 it takes okay, what exactly, do you do? Because on exactly Instagram, you do the likes, the, okay. the, 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 the comments, the exact, and the DM. It's, it's the exact same thing. You go on LinkedIn, so uh -huh. the first 10 minutes, because on LinkedIn, I mean, we're, we're talking about, like. again, okay, uh -huh. so we're talking about the 30 minutes every morning. Uh -huh. 10 minutes, find a, find a, a content and post it. Okay. For, uh, uh, find a photo. For both, for Instagram and LinkedIn. Yeah, and it, and okay. it takes like a, uh, um, only a few minutes. Then spend 10, 10 minutes on Instagram, engage with 20 people. Likes, comments, DMs. Mm -hmm. Then go to uh, go to LinkedIn and engage with 20 people. Just an example, you live in Miami, mm -hmm. do a search CEOs in Miami. You will find about, again, like, probably like maybe 100,000. Okay. 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 Engage with them. Like their posts. Like their photos. Comment. Send them a DM. You can actually send them an email. It, it costs maybe the, a few few cents, but you mm -hmm. can actually send them a message even even if even if, if, if they didn't approve you yet. Okay. So you so you have that option. Interesting. On on LinkedIn, you can buy email. It's called email. So you can buy okay. about uh, forty or fifty of them. I'm not sure how much it costs every month. It's not expensive at all. So you can send emails, and again, they will see it. 
It's the only way for you to approach those people. You cannot approach those people via email or phone okay. call. Okay. Okay. If okay. you call their office, love that. Okay. Gatekeepers, you won't be able to get to them. If okay. you send them an email, gatekeepers, you won't be able to get to them. They will read your message on LinkedIn. And that's a beautiful thing that you won't go to spam or to promotions because it's coming through. It's coming. It's through coming LinkedIn. through LinkedIn. Yeah. Okay. You paid for LinkedIn. Link right. And again. LinkedIn wants you to connect. Right. I mean, I mean, I mean, the that's idea. Their job. Yeah, that's, a, that's, that's the, the value job. of the That's platform. the value of the platform, and I really think it's the future. I mean, okay. it, I mean, Instagram and, and Facebook are amazing, but LinkedIn is like it's like the hidden secret right now. Okay. And I can tell you that we work with hundreds of agents, and they love it. Okay. And and it it works really well for them. Okay. So I'm gonna summarize it right now. It's key to have the content. We preach that all the time. That mm -hmm. content will allow you to have that engagement, which provides or perceived a value. Right. Mm -hmm. Now. We talk about the 30 minute rule between Instagram and LinkedIn. You need to post, you need to comment, yeah. you need to DM, yeah. right? Very important. Then we talk about what type of post, what type of content, 80, 20, right? 80% the what you are providing, the service you provide, and the 20% talking about yourself. Yes. Right? Very important. Then uh, we have uh, the, uh, the, the 90, what is it? The, uh, the, the, or the algorithm, the right? Algorithm. The algorithm talks about you can do 90 likes, 400 yes. comments. Yes, right? so, so we talk about the algorithm, but, mm -hmm. but again, um, I mean, most agents cannot sit all day and engage. Right, right, so, right, right. But, but, but it's just the potential. If you the hire potential somebody is the, right. the, the potential is that you can do exactly what the big companies are doing. Okay. And that's the beautiful part, because on TV, you cannot, you cannot compete with them. Okay. But on social media, you can. Right. And as a proof, you have influencers that have more followers than, than, all, than all of the biggest companies. Right. You have people, regular people, they were right. never on TV, and they have five million followers. Okay. That's, that's the proof right. that you can compete against the biggest companies. And right. it's not about budgets, it's, a, right. it's, it's about engagement huh. and, and now, content. Now we're working together the LinkedIn. Yeah. You're working my account on LinkedIn, so yes. it's, uh, we just started a few, a few uh, days ago. Yep. Let's see how it goes. I'm, yep. I'm excited to see uh, the result and share it with, the, uh, with our audience. Mm -hmm. Where can we find you? Well. Our company name is Insta Unicorn, mm -hmm. so you can find us online. You can okay. see, I mean, you can check us. We, we're pretty much everywhere. Mm -hmm. um, and again, if you if you have clients, if you have agents, we we also offer them one free week to test our services cool. just to see. So All right. they can try and see if they like it or not. Okay. Um, we basically take that job of engagement out of your hands, so you can focus on other things. So for okay. agents, I and think I'm I think agents should invest either time or money in engagement. So mm -hmm. if they don't have the budget, do it themselves. Mm -hmm. if, they have, if, if they have a bigger budget but less time, they should hire somebody right. to do it. Right. If, not, if it's not us, then somebody else, but somebody needs to engage on our behalf 24 right. seven. Every top producer is doing it. Right. Every top producer. Uh, and that's, that's what we teach, right? That the top agents and the brand new agents also, is that it's all about frequency and consistency that you is have going to, to be position consistent. you as the expert of choice. It's exactly. that simple. The gen lead generation, it's so simple. We teach you and we show you. It, lead generation, and I ask mm -hmm. in the seminars, is lead generation expensive? And people go, yes. Is lead generation, does lead generation takes time? And people go, yes. Is it difficult? Yes. Well, the answer to those three things, is it expensive? No, it's very inexpensive. Mm -hmm. Number two, happens overnight? Literally, it happens overnight. It happens overnight. Is it <laughs> difficult? No, it's not difficult if you know what you're doing and that's what we teach people. Now. What I can tell you that lead generation, which is problem number one, it's easy to solve, inexpensive, but the conversion is what takes time because exactly. selling is not an event, it's a process. Exactly. Right? Exactly. And that's why we need that engagement, the content and the value. Listen, I, I started, I thought about this business when I was still an agent and mm -hmm. I remember one of the biggest challenges was the follow-up. So you can get leads, mm -hmm. you can find people. People, people love to talk real estate, so right. it's, it's easy. Right. But the follow-up, it's so difficult right. because I, I, I gave you an example. I had one client for six months. I showed them homes, dinners, spent so much money and time on them. And then for one month, I took my foot off the gas. I didn't call them and he closed the deal with another person. Happens all the time. So that's exactly what we do. We make sure we help our clients to grow the network of mm -hmm. wealthy people that can afford to buy real estate. Okay. But more importantly, we maintain the relationship. Right. We're gonna send them happy birthday when it's their birthday. We're gonna endorse them on your behalf. We're gonna we, we're gonna like their post. So we're gonna make sure that you're always on their mind. So again, if 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 you don't hire us, do it yourself. Right. But make sure they don't forget about you because right. that's how you're losing deals, which is deals that that, that were already on the table. Right. I that, mean, that you already put time on it. The person told you he wants to do business with you, right. but you just didn't follow up because right. you were busy doing other things. So you need to know how to devote your time between keeping the relationships and building new ones. Right. I'm going to close with this, which is very important. 
Uh, we say we are not in the business of real estate. And I, I agree, and, and I would say nobody's in the business of whatever trade they do. They're mm -hmm. in the business of marketing. Yeah. Agents think, oh, I'm a real estate agent. No, you're a secret agent if you're not doing marketing, right? It's Everybody's all about marketing. marketing. And it's the follow-up, and the marketing on social media, et cetera, it's not only about generating the lead, but also keeping that lead warm, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. The frequency and consistency that allows you to position yourself as an expert, as, as I mentioned before. So there are four quadrants of marketing. Mm -hmm. The first one, it's email marketing, right? And with our software, you can see they're Octopus agent. We automate that process for you. We give you the content, the relevant uh, content, the automations. You don't have to worry about that's what quarter number one, mm -hmm. which by the way is the cheapest one. So I'm going to give you the four quadrants mm -hmm. of marketing. Number one is email marketing. Mm -hmm. Everybody, everybody has email, e email, so you need to have that one, mm -hmm. right? This is the argument, God. Oh yeah, but people aren't reading their emails anymore. They read. They, 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 read. they and, open. And who said email marketing is for them to open it? They, in order to delete it. First, they have to see it. Yep. I stole that that phrase from the number one agent in Miami, Riley Smith. Yep. Over 300 transactions close, it's been in the show many times. So number one, it's going from the cheapest one to the most expensive one. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying any of those is more important than the other. Mm -hmm. Ideally, you should be in the four of them. So number one is email marketing. Number two is exactly what you do. Via social media, Instagram, Facebook, now LinkedIn. I'm so excited to, to start using no, that, that service, right? So we need to be there too. Number three, it's online marketing, usually called retargeting, mm -hmm. right? And number four, which is the most expensive one, is offline marketing, which is magazines, newspaper. All of them work, yeah, right? And ideally, eventually, you will be on all four, those four. So when the client opens their email, you're there. When they go to social media, you're there. Yes. Online, you're there. Offline, you're there. So the top producers that have the budgets, mm -hmm. they use all four of them. Of course. If, exactly. If you, if you see the top, the top listing agents, mm -hmm. they use all of them because they have the budgets. They will spend tens of thousands of right. dollars on, on, on a right. listing. Yep. But most agents cannot afford it, so they need mm -hmm. to choose where to allocate Very their good. time or funds. Yep. I, I, want, I, I want to say one more thing mm -hmm. about LinkedIn, mm -hmm. which, which is really important. When somebody approves you, on LinkedIn, there's an electronic signature, and that's when they're basically they're giving you the permission to send them an email. Mm. So if you will, if, interesting. Yeah, yeah. So if you would do a search, and you, and if you will try to find the emails of those high rank people, mm -hmm. you can find it. But when that person approves you, you're gonna get his phone number and you're gonna get his email, and that's how you can build an email list. Because one of the challenges of of, of all the agents, how do I, uh, how do I even start? How do I build an email list? Start engaging with people on social media, and they're going to give it to you their email. Right. So it's once amazing. they approve you, you can get their email. Once they approve you, that's a good takeaway. They from today. give you, they give you their email. The information, yeah. Yeah, they give you the information. Yeah. So mm -hmm. they cannot say I didn't let you. I mean, because now you have the the GDPR rules, and, and you have to watch out on on who you're going to send right. email to. If he's your friend on LinkedIn, he approved you. He right. gave you his email. Yeah. He gave you his, 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 his information. Yeah. It's been a true pleasure to have you in the pleasure. Miami Thank Real you. Estate Thank Show. It's always fun to talk to you. We talk very often. Yeah, we uh, we're in different time zones. <laughs> uh, we're, we're always connecting to, uh, through WhatsApp. Yes. I know I don't answer immediately because it's six hours. You're busy. Uh, yeah, different. Busy. Uh, yeah, it's, you know, everybody's busy anyways. Yes. Uh, but it's always, man, not only a, a pleasure professionally to speak to you, but in a personal manner. I mean, I, I consider you a, a very, very good friend. Man. Thank you. Me too. Right? Appreciate it. Until next time. Make it a very, very productive uh, day. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.